Howdy everyone, y'all know who it is, it's me for the Picture X, and I'm back to two. <laughs> Supergirl vs. The She-Hulk Rerun Mumble. Got the last, last episode I watched of this, it did okay my channel. But this I'm actually interested about, because I think... I'm actually not sure if it's going to but I'm putting my, my, my money on Supergirl, which is really about to be not like a And how you got to my new one, because I love it. Years ago, back on Cartoon Fight Club Episode 4, there was a battle between Superman and Hulk. Well, today, we're kind of mm -hmm. gender-bending that match, as today we have Supergirl versus She-Hulk. And when it comes to characters from the Marvel and DC Universe, there is one thing that needs to be specified, and which incarnation are we going with for the debate? So for Supergirl, yeah, we are going fight. to be sticking to the post-crisis timeline, Hulk and for like, She-Hulk, oh, we are going to have the 616 <laughs> Earth. Will this be a repeat of CFC episode 4, Which or is, will there be a different random outcome? Random Today, he's we're going to hell, find that out. But Today, we rewind Rumble! She-Hulk, however, is not slow, I don't think. Kara Zorel is the daughter of Kal-El's uncle, Zorel, and his wife, Laura. Funny enough, despite Kel's name being Superman Jeez. and Kara's name being Supergirl, in this timeline, Kara is actually older than Kel, as she was a teenager her when he was, was a baby. After her. Krypton was attacked by Brainiac, and her father Ars created a force field around Argo City, which was where Kara and her parents were currently residing. When Brainiac came perfect. to consume Argo, her parents had no choice She's but to send Kara away in a rocket that took her to Earth. However, her rocket got caught in a huge kryptonite encrusted meteor, and, how good and she arrived on Earth and her, years later her, after her cousin did. I'm pretty now, sure she hawked her fighting skill, probably mad. Now, if story is quite similar to her cousin Superman, you're probably wondering if her powers and abilities are also going to be similar. Jeez, and my to phone answer that is... question, well, yeah, they are it, fairly but... identical. Yeah. Supergirl can really defy good. gravity and fly, is capable of taking massive damage without feeling much pain, is extremely fast, though likely not as fast as the Flash, and she can use heat vision and freeze breath. She's also the organic solar battery, and most of you should know how that works. And in regards to how well she can use the abilities she has extremely accurate heat vision as she can accurately hit targets smaller than an average human that are out of significantly hotter than the core of the sun it could even generate enough power to move entire planets <laughs> supergirl can easily be on par to superman in terms of her best feats if you want to give her the direct scale or not just being on par is insane enough in the dc universe superman in the post-crisis timeline is comparable to the likes of wonder woman who can easily reach speeds of 52 quadrillion times the speed of light supergirl That's even bad. with just being on par with that level of speed is more than enough to recognize just how powerful she is and if we lowball her attack power she could easily be consistently multi-solar system level considering she has battled dark side avatars <laughs> and having solar system level at a base minimum is fair play considering superman has feats like throwing a compressed solar system away from earth damaging characters like doomsday and cyborg superman and scaling to lobo who pushed an entire white dwarf star supergirl is quite intelligent she can process information extremely quickly and is skilled at handling many different types of alien technology now she isn't perfect she shares the similar weakness to Superman, such as being weak to kryptonite and magic. And of course, she is weak to red sunlight, or the lack of sunlight in general. She can be depleted. Again, her power is like a solar battery. It goes up, it goes down. She's not omnipotent, but she's quite powerful. Jennifer Walters is an American gotcha. lawyer who was shot by a nasty mobster. But huh? hope for Jennifer was not lost to her. Is, she was the saved by her, a blood is, is the same as from Super her cousin World. Bruce Banner. You know the guy we all know and love, the Incredible Hulk. However, that's the determining factor. Speed. Blood she won't win. Jennifer into another Hulk. Like the regular Hulk, Jennifer was extremely savage and unstable, but unlike Hulk, she gained the same intelligence as regular Jennifer while in the Hulk form. She began to appreciate the confidence and assertiveness that came along with being both the human mind and the Hulk rage. She became She-Hulk. In a way, this does set her apart from the regular Hulk, as she can think much more critically and is usually more cool, calm, and collected. However, 
there is a definite physical discrepancy. So while there is a positive, there's also negatives to this Hulk form. Now, saying that you're weaker than the Incredible Hulk doesn't mean you're weak by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, she's extremely powerful in her own right. During her time spent with the Fantastic Four, she managed to outdo the thing's best lifting strength. She was able to lift 85 tons with only her one arm, meaning with both arms, she could easily lift over 150 tons. She-Hulk is also strong enough to create a huge meteor-sized crater at the bottom of the ocean. This would put her striking strength in the yeah, ranges of mountain level, and she could even damage the likes of Red Hulk. Now, she can't exactly scale to Red Hulk. Red Hulk was capable of surviving attacks that can easily range from planetary to solar system level. However, it's a little unrealistic to say that She-Hulk is a direct scale to Red Hulk himself. But still, making the Red Hulk flinch and bleed is nothing to scoff at. If anything, you might even argue that she could have feats greater than this. Through plenty of intense training, she was able to match Immortal Hulk and one-shot Thor. She-Hulk's leg muscles also allow her to jump stupidly high distances. One shot her eyes Thor? jumping 1,000 feet into the air. She-Hulk is capable of withstanding low temperatures from negative 190 degrees Fahrenheit Fahrenheit to hot temperatures of 3,000 degrees. She could survive artillery cannon shells, powerful energy blasts, and is capable of falling from great heights without suffering from horrible injury. She-Hulk has stated herself that she can survive an atomic flash from a distance of two miles. Even if she were to take damage, she is a healing factor capable of healing body tissue and blood loss. However, she can't grow entire limbs like, say, Deadpool, who can easily regenerate lost limbs. Though, thankfully, she is equipped with her Vibranium Bikini built for her by the Black Panther. Not only does Vibranium protect her, but it also helps her control her gamma emissions. She-Hulk is also pretty fast as she was able of casually blocking a laser putting her reaction speed at ftl she's <laughs> also able to outrun bullets which will put her travel speed at least over mach 1 she can create gamma shock waves and when she's extremely angry she can mach perform a shock wave capable of destroying an entire speed. city block That's which decent. goes to show that even though she is pretty relaxed in general compared to hull her power is still heavily focused on her anger not only that but she's also weak to extreme radiation certain wavelengths of radiation can override her ability to transform Though this is really only a problem for Jennifer more so than She-Hulk. Meaning this can stop her from turning into She-Hulk, but when she's already in this state, it's not really used to revert her. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! Open up this door. Oh no, your wife is here. I can't hear you. Live wire, not time to wait. Huh. Interesting. Kind of a poor choice. Yeah. 
faster speed, like super go faster speed. Ready or not? She better sprint. She saved her. Even after burying her dad, burying her underneath the building. Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewinds O Zombie J. I o also Zombie did a good job. Thanks to the Mecha Gamer for helping out with the research slash notes and writing the pre-analysis <laughs> script. Mecha thanks Gamer makes a lot of these notes. The post analysis. And the winner is Supergirl. Now, I could easily go over the stat discrepancy between both characters, but even from an intangible perspective, Supergirl is at a clear advantage in regards to pretty much having either an equal substitute to She-Hulk's abilities or better abilities that She-Hulk simply does not possess nor can match. For example, while She-Hulk can perform range attacks through gamma shockwaves, Supergirl has an equal substitute in her heat vision and freeze breath. What makes Supergirl's heat vision a better range attack would be the speed of the range attack. Her heat vision can easily shoot at FTL speeds, whereas She-Hulk's gamma waves could at best be massively hypersonic, which is a highball and still way too slow to compete with Supergirl's range attacks. Supergirl's flight is also a very useful ability that She-Hulk does not possess. Mm -hmm. This will most certainly give Supergirl a mobility advantage and a travel speed advantage. Now, I do hear a lot of versus debaters say, hey, what is even the point of travel speed in a versus fight? It's kind of useless. Well, here's the thing. When you already have a range attack advantage, having a mobility and travel speed advantage is critical and crucial if the fighter is planning to attack purely through range attacks. It could help them always keep a range attacks to consistently fight the target. Not that Supergirl would need range attacks to finish She-Hulk off anyway, the stat discrepancy is already quite insane if these two simply choose to brawl it out melee style. A significantly weaker version of Supergirl, the new 52 incarnation, has fists with the mass of moons and legs that burn with the heat of suns. Now you could say that wow. this is a hyperbole or an exaggeration, but considering she can easily be on par with Superman and Darkseid avatars, it's not hard to assume that Supergirl can easily do moon Compare this to She-Hulk, unless you're going for some Silver Age outlier or directly scaling her to Hulk, which is kind of a stretch, or even putting her on par with Red Hulk directly, I can't confidently say that She-Hulk is consistently close to Supergirl. She-Hulk did once fight World War Hulk, and during a very rare and ranged state fought Immortal Hulk in issue number 7, but she lost both fights, and the fights didn't last really long. 
Hulk clearly stopped her. If you give her the direct scale to these Hulks, then maybe we have ourselves a close debate, but then why did she lose so easily? And if we're gonna do that, we'd have to give Supergirl a direct scale to Superman, which is actually way more fair for Supergirl. I could confidently say that Supergirl is closer to Superman than She-Hulk is to regular Hulk. And She-Hulk did one shot for once. And whether you consider that an outlier, if we Would give her that, then maybe the power I mean, is regular close Hulk, regular Hulk be Supergirl? But the speed is like not even close. Even if we scale her to Thor, like Supergirl's speed is insane. If I, for some random reason, give She-Hulk the best scales I can possibly give her, she would be MFTL, but... Like, Supergirl's regular scales would make her massively MFTL+, plus, and She-Hulk naturally is, like, actually way, way slower than I'm giving her credit for. Like, if I were to be more realistic, she would have FTL reaction speeds, but not travel speeds, where Supergirl is easily MFTL+, plus in all facets of speed. To make a long story short, Supergirl's stat stomps nearly all facets, and even if we equalize stats and make this strictly an intangibles debate, Supergirl has just way too many natural advantages making the winner of this rumble supergirl like it's on it's the next right. episode of rewind rumble round one fight mm -hmm. that Interesting. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you don't, please like, subscribe if you're new. Bye.